but yeah, in the future, all, all versions of our vehicles will be able to at least do bidirectional power flow for the purposes of energy market participation. Hey, I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. If you sold Tesla stock before Battery Invest today or in the panic thereafter, rip you, I was buying. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to be talking about a few of the bombshells Tesla dropped during the Q&A session of Battery Invest today, which many people seem to have slept all the way through, including Tesla's plans to make a home air conditioning system or in technical terms, a HVAC system, heating, ventilation, and cooling, as well as a $25,000 compact car. Some updates around the Cybertruck and the potential volume units per year that Tesla could be producing in the future. And in my opinion, the biggest bombshell of all, something I've speculated about in the past, energy arbitrage. The ability in the future to use your Tesla to make money for you while you sleep by participating in the energy market using Autobidder software. So let's get into the video. But first, hey guys, if you're in the US and you'd like to help out the channel and get a free stock, check out the link in the description to Webull. If you open a new account and fund it with $100, you'll get a free stock valued up to $1,600. And if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. I mean like the home HVAC? Um, yeah, that, I mean, that's a pet project that I'd love to get going on. I don't know, maybe we'll start, start working on that next year. So, you guys heard that right. Elon Musk maybe will make that next year. Now, when Elon Musk says maybe we'll make that, he's not just pulling this out of his ass. He's been considering this. He's got a potential timeline in his mind already, and now he's sharing that with us. Let's see what else he had to say. Because I just think this, man, you could really make a way better home HVAC system that's really quiet and super efficient and... Yeah, it's super energy efficient and also has like a, you know, a way better filter, uh, you know, for particles and um, yeah, just and, and it works uh, very reliably. And, and there, we've already developed that for the car. Like so the, the heat pump uh, in the Model Y uh, is really pretty spectacular. Uh, I mean, it's tiny, it's efficient. It has to last for 15 years. It's got to work in all kinds of conditions from, from you know, the coldest winter to the hottest summer. So we've actually already done a massive amount of the work necessary for uh, a really kick-ass home HVAC. Um, and they can also like stack them. So if you wanna say, uh, depending upon the size of your house or whatever, how much you need, you can just, you can just basically stack them and uh, just have a very compelling, super efficient home HVAC. And then you can also uh, communicate with the car and it'll, it'll know when you're coming home. So it's like, oh, I don't need to keep the house cold all day. I just, you know, cool it down because I knew you were coming home. So the, the pack and communicate with the car and just like really dial it into when you actually need cooling and heating. It'll be great. Tesla HVAC system confirmed. Now, this isn't Elon just thinking out loud. Clearly, he's got a plan in mind. Clearly, he's been thinking about timelines. Clearly, he's got an idea of how this system will work. I mean, he's talking about the fact that you could stack these. So I guess in his mind, he's thinking that this is a modular system, depending on the size of your home or office, maybe you need one system. Maybe you can stack two or three or four. There's no question that this system will absolutely destroy everything else on the market. That's what Tesla does. Big brain engineers, super resourceful, figure out how to do more with less, make something better than everybody else. Tesla just does this over and over and over. In fact, it's not just Tesla, it's Elon Musk run companies. Boring company, Tesla, SpaceX, same thing. They go, you know what? Everyone's doing a really shitty job at this thing. We're gonna do a better job, and then they do. Now, this is something interesting to ponder. Let me know in the comments, first of all, if you guys would be interested in a Tesla HVAC system at home. But more importantly, let's just think about how this plays into the Tesla ecosystem. The ideal Tesla customer buys a Tesla vehicle, gets Tesla solar, either solar panels or a solar glass roof. Also gets a power wall battery pack for some home energy storage and the final piece of the puzzle, a Tesla HVAC system. Just imagine that, the opportunity to cross sell and upsell. Not because Tesla's trying to make a ton of money, but because they've got superior products that over the long term are actually gonna cost consumers far less than the alternatives because of lower running costs, they're more efficient, etc. This is a massive opportunity and Elon's not messing around. I think there's a very good chance that we'll see this HVAC system appear next year. What do you guys think? Once we do get to the 25K car, the ownership cost of that car is incredibly lower than the prior car. And then on the solar side and wind, with the cost of solar and wind coming down and with batteries coming down with them, the actual cost of energy on the grid is going down. So we're, we're sort of moving to our, towards a sustainable lower cost future. So it, it, there's not really a sacrifice. Yeah, that's true. It, it is a false dichotomy to say that it's like, it's either prosperity or sustainability. Uh, this is often used you know, by oil and gas to say like, oh, well, do you want people to lose their jobs? Do you want to have, do you want lower people's standards of living? Do you want to, you know, make all these economic sacrifices? 
really in, in order to have sustainability? And the reality, as Drew was saying, uh, is that a sustainable energy is going to be lower cost, not higher cost, than uh, fossil fuels. You know, we're, we're confident that long term we can design and, and manufacture a, a, a compelling $25,000 electric vehicle. You know, this, this, this has always been our dream from the beginning of the company. I even like wrote a blog piece about it um, because, um, you know, our first car was, was an expensive sports car and, and then, it was, then it was like slightly less expensive sedan and then finally it's sort of a, I don't know, mass market premium, but, you know, like the Model 3 and Model Y. But it really it was always our goal to try to make an affordable electric car. And um, I think probably, uh, w w yeah, like I said, about, about three years from now, uh, we're confident we can make a very, co very compelling $25,000 electric vehicle uh, that's also fully autonomous. And when you think about the $25,000 price point, you have to consider how much, in it, how much less expensive it is to own an electric vehicle. Yeah. So yeah. actually, it, it's, it, it becomes even more affordable at that $25,000 price point. We all knew this was coming. Tesla's $25,000 car, an inevitability. They keep improving their manufacturing techniques, driving costs down, scaling up. I mean, this is obviously going to happen. Three years now, the internal combustion engine industry has about three years limping along before they absolutely get wiped out by Tesla. How can you argue with this? Drew makes a very good point. The total cost of ownership on an electric vehicle is so much lower than everything else on the market, and a Tesla in particular, they're so well engineered, they require so little maintenance that it's not just a sticker price that counts, it's a total cost of ownership. This is so important. You can't compete with this now. An internal combustion engine vehicle in three years' time cannot hold a candle to a $25,000 Tesla. You just can't do it. There's no way to compete on cost. There's no way to compete on running cost. It is not possible. There's too many components and too much complexity in an ICE vehicle that is not necessary in an EV. Plus, nobody's as smart at manufacturing as Tesla. They continue to drive their costs down and find new efficiencies and ways to do more with less. This vehicle, the $25,000 Tesla, will destroy the internal combustion engine industry. And by the way, just one note, Elon mentioned there a $25,000 vehicle with autonomy. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to speculate here. I suspect that what's going to happen in the future is that Tesla is going to offer full self-driving subscriptions, okay? So rather than having to pay out of pocket, you can just subscribe to full self-driving. That allows people who can't afford to pay an insane amount for the full self-driving package to still access that feature. Could be wrong, but this is the way that I see that playing out. I'm not assuming this vehicle is going to come with full self-driving built in, but it's going to be an option people can subscribe to or buy. Let me know in the comments below, are you interested in this $25,000 car? Again, keeping in mind, this is really ideally being designed to last a million miles, to work as a robo taxi, or just a vehicle for personal use with extreme longevity. Picture the automotive industry as a gigantic pyramid. At the top, you've got the high-end market, the premium vehicles. There's not really much of a market for those. It's very small, right? But as you go down the prices, right, further down the pyramid, the market expands dramatically. So by Tesla producing a vehicle that will be accessible, affordable to far more people, their market share is absolutely going to explode. They're slowly working their way down the pyramid. They're gonna get all the way to the base. That is a scary thought. Is it going to be possible to get climate control to the back of the Cybertruck? Because that would be the ultimate <laughs> camping machine if we can get all night climate control. Uh, we'll try to do that. Thank yeah, you. I agree, that would be, that'd be really cool. Hashtag van life. Well, it's hard to say what the volume exactly would be for the Cybertruck. The, the orders are gigantic. We have like, I don't know, well over half a million orders. I think maybe six or 600,000. That's a lot, basically. We stopped counting. So I, I think there's probably room for, I don't know, at least like a unit volume of like 250 to 300,000 a year, maybe more. In, we'll probably make an international version of, of the Cybertruck that'll be kind of smaller, you know, kind of like a tight Wolverine package. It'll still be cooler, but it'll be, it'll be smaller because you just can't make a giant truck like that for most markets. All right, guys, don't get too scared. It's time to do a few numbers. Let's just say we've got an average selling price of $50,000 per Cybertruck. Let's just say Tesla sells 250,000 in one year. That equates to $12.5 billion in revenue. If they were selling, say, 300,000 Cybertrucks per year at an average price of 50,000, that would be $15 billion in revenue just from the Cybertruck. Now, if you don't have any context, you're not really sure, how much is that? Tesla's revenue in 2019 was less than 30 billion. So just the Cybertruck capacity, a conservative estimate of annual Cybertruck volume in the US could bring Tesla's revenue up to half of their current 2019 revenue just from a single vehicle in one market just in the US. This is oh, huge. And in the words of somebody who might be me, Cybertruck will make Tesla billions. If you're still watching, 
Awesome. I've saved the best till last, so I'm glad you're here. We're now going to hear about Tesla's energy arbitrage opportunity in the future, using Teslas to pull and deploy energy to and from the grid to make money for owners while they sleep. Yes. Really? Now this is something I speculated about in the past. I was using a blanket term vehicle to grid to describe anything to do with Tesla's drawing and pulling power from the grid or your home. Elon Musk was very dismissive of the whole idea of vehicle to grid and I understand why now. I just want to be really clear. We're not talking about a vehicle to grid where you're using your Tesla to power your home. What we're talking about is the opportunity for your Tesla to actively pull energy from the grid during off-peak times and then sell energy back to the grid during on-peak times to make money for the owners. And of course, Tesla's auto bidder software will be in charge. <laughs> Get it? In charge? Because <laughs> that was a really bad joke. I'm not going to even cut that though. Yeah, you guys can just deal with it. But the point is, Tesla's going to be making money on all of this energy market participation, in the words of Drew. What he's talking about here, he didn't describe it in super detail because, again, Osborne, it makes a whole lot of sense to just drop the hints, let people figure it out, but don't make a huge song and dance about it. Just like Tesla didn't have a massive arrow pointing at their million mile battery saying, this is a million mile battery, despite the fact that the iron based battery chemistry is the million mile battery. So just keep that in mind. Drew wasn't super, oh, this is exactly what it's. He wanted to be a little bit vague, but he's very clear. The words he uses are energy market participation. So let's see what Drew had to say about using a Tesla to print money while you sleep. You know, that said, like we can certainly do vehicle to grid. I think we can, like we can basically enable that with software in Europe or something, right? Yeah, um, we are future generations of power electronics. We will be able to do this more or less everywhere from a like energy market participation perspective. But yeah, in the future, all, all versions of our vehicles will be able to at least do bidirectional power flow for the purposes of energy market participation. But even for that, it's important to remember that your car isn't plugged in 24 seven. So it's kind of an unpredictable uh, resource for the grid. It'll have a value, but it's not the same as a stationary battery pack. There's absolutely no ambiguity here. Sure, a few people hear those words and think, uh, what, uh, energy, uh, uh, what, market, uh, I don't get it. But he's not talking about anything other than your Tesla printing you money while you sleep by participating in the energy market, performing energy arbitrage using Autobidus software. Mark my words. Why has nobody else been talking about this? Let me know in the comments, guys. Has anyone else covered this aspect of Battery Invest today? And if you plan to purchase a Tesla in the future, is this something you'd be interested in participating in? Having your Tesla print you money not only in the future as an autonomous robo-taxi, but as a participant in the energy market. And lastly, just one final point to close on. I've talked about this before. Tesla continues to find new ways to turn on billions of dollars in high margin revenue. They continue to do this. This will not be the last time Tesla enables their owners to print money while they sleep, turns on huge revenue taps, and most importantly, finds new ways to speed up their mission of accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget your free stocks with Webull and Stake using the links below. Deposit $100 in your Webull account, you'll get a free stock valued up to $1,600, and Stake, spin the roulette wheel, you'll either get Nike, GoPro, or Dropbox. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular q and our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.